Today we're going to talk about alcohol. All I ask is that you have an open mind and put on your thinking cap. Alcohol is a drug. If it wasn't a drug, what would it be? A fruit or a condiment? It doesn't make any sense. Alcohol is a very unique drug. It is a solvent. Unlike other drugs like opioids, those drugs go to an opioid receptor site. Alcohol goes to wherever the hell it wants because it's both fat soluble and water soluble. Also, alcohol is the only drug that has calories in it. Heroin is calorie free. Very nice. Cocaine is calorie free. Very nice. So alcohol causes all kinds of problems in different ways, but it's legal. It's also very acceptable. Additionally, alcohol affects the brain in a very special way. It causes people to misperceive aggression cues. So when someone drinks alcohol, they see somebody else in front of them doing something stupid, such as poking them in the chest and saying, go sit over there. If you're in a church and you're sober, it has no effect on you. If you're in a bar and some guy who's been drinking taps you in the chest and you've been drinking, you might actually perceive that tap in your chest as an attempt on your life. And all of a sudden you're swinging, you put a guy in the hospital that wasn't part of the plan. Ever been in a bar? We notice that people become more and more reptilian. I can prove that point. Ever been in a bar? Notice how drunk people act. The males hunt for fertile females to mate with and act very aggressively towards competitive males. Further, both genders fight for territory, status, main access, and get even more hostile when hungry. Now you know why. You're in a room full of human crocodiles. As we consume alcohol, we become more and more reptilian. That's not a good thing, okay? So your first couple beers go into your belly, and we go into what's called the mammal mode. And you get really chummy, and you get really nice, and you hug on your guy, and you go, bro, I love you so much, bro. You're the best bro in the whole world. All the things you do are great. You're so awesome. And dude's like, dude, quit broing on me so hard. Leave me alone. Uh, I want to talk to some girls over here, right? Uh, a few beers later now, we go into what's called reptile mode. And that person now says to himself, my God, I've had a bunch of alcohol in my belly. I'm now in a checkers player mode. And reptile mode is based on anger and fear. And all of a sudden, I hear some guy talking bad about the uh, Detroit Lions. I get very upset and I say, dude, I'm going to stab the guy with a steak knife over there. And dude goes, no, you're not. We're not going to kill anybody over the Lions performance the other weekend. All right, not going to happen. We can see that anybody, no matter how smart they are, how tough they are, how rich they are, how fast they are, and how strong they are, when they consume alcohol, they do become more and more reptilian, and we don't like that. Also, behind your forehead is your emotional thermostat. Keeps your emotions in a normal, healthy range. No crazy highs and lows. So when you see somebody at a frat party, and him and his buddy begin to argue about Donald Trump, and one frat bro loves Trump, one frat bro hates Trump, they begin fighting. The guy pops his buddy in the nose. He falls to the ground bleeding. I go, oh my God, dude just hit his friend in the nose over some politic bullshit. Look down and say, oh my God, watch this. He grabs his buddy off the ground and says, bro, I'm so sorry I hit you, bro. I love you, bro. You mean the world to me. You just got done punching your friend in the nose, watched him go to the ground, and 10 seconds later, you hold him and you say you love him. And it's like, wow, that's some crazy shit. That emotionality is caused by the PFC being shut down. We go from crazy highs to crazy lows, and that's not a good thing. You see that uh, when you watch a TV show called Cops. Some guy's Billy Badass. He's starting trouble. He's been drinking, threatens the cop. I'm going to kick your ass. I'm really bad. I'm Mr. Tough Guy. All of a sudden, the handcuffs go on, and that same guy in the back of the squad car is calling for his mommy and saying, please let me go. I'm so sorry. Please let me go. Tears in his eyes. How'd you go from being Billy at it, badass to tears in your eyes? And now you know why. Behind your forehead, the emotional thermostat's been broken. That normal, healthy range of emotional responses is now gone. And we watch this crazy behavior that appears in all kinds of wonderful reality shows as well.